This video is an addendum to 8.3, and in this video we'll talk about the pKa of hydronium. Hydronium is of course H3O plus ion, and this is the strongest acidic species that can exist in water. Of course, every time we write a proton, a free proton, in our acid-base equations, if it's in water, it automatically attaches to the nearest water. So NH plus is equal to H3O plus when we're in aqueous solution. Let's consider hydrochloric acid. It's a strong acid and wants to dissociate completely. However, there's hydronium on the right side of its equilibrium. It's an acid itself and it's pushing the equilibrium the other way. But because hydrochloric acid is stronger than hydronium, the hydrochloric acid still wins and dissociates completely or at least almost completely. Now let's look at ethanoic acid. Its dissociation in water looks almost the same as the equilibrium for the dissociation of hydrochloric acid in water. It's also competing against the hydronium ion that wants to push the equilibrium back the other way. We say ethanoic acid is a weak acid because it doesn't win this battle against hydronium. It does dissociate a little bit and we will find some ethanoate ion in solution. So what is the acid strength of hydronium? Well, if we dissociate it in water, funnily enough, the products are the same as the reactants, which gives us a funny-looking equilibrium expression. And here's where many chemists differ in opinion. Some chemists would look at that equilibrium expression and say everything cancels out, and that hydronium ion by definition has a Kc of 1. Other chemists, though they agree with the first chemist in principle, still find it useful to calculate a proper Kc for hydronium. Their thinking is that the product water molecule is different than the reactant water molecule. So like other acids, they move the reactant water over, combine it with Kc to make Ka for hydronium. Of course, the hydronium still cancels out, and this leaves us with a Ka equal to the concentration of water, which is about 55 moles per liter. If we take the negative log of that, we get the pKa value, which is minus 1.74. And that's why, as you may have heard me say in class, many chemists will consider the definition of a strong acid any acid that has a pKa less than minus 1.74. That's it. Thank you for watching.